Hello everyone, this is Nancy from Garden Gals in Franklin, Kentucky, and we are continuing with our series on um, things that for a beginner prepper or someone who wants to be more prepared. So today our list is 20 items to look for at a yard sale or thrift store for prepping. So the very first item would be cast iron cookware. And obviously we know cast iron lasts forever and you can use it when if you needed to cook over an open fire. Number two would be camping gear, cook stoves, tents, lanterns, sleeping bags, things in that uh, category. Number three would be winter clothing. Um, of course, anything woolen is going to last longer. Um, also flannel shirts, hats, gloves, coats, and boots. You would also want to look uh, for gardening tools. That's number four. Anything, uh, if you needed to have a garden or you needed to uh, rake up after a campfire. So rakes, shovels, hand tools, things of that nature. Number five, and these are in no particular order, so if it seems like I skip around, I apologize. Number five would be board games and puzzles. Um, you have to have something to do. If you're in a situation where you don't have your, uh, your TV or computer, you don't have internet, you wanna have something uh, to occupy your time. So board games and puzzles. Number six on our list is emergency supplies. And that would be things such as candles, lighters, flashlights, radios, first aid kits, and backpacks. Number seven are tools, such as hammers, screwdrivers, nails, wrenches, axes, and saws. Number eight on the list is manual kitchen tools. The very first one at the top of the list is a can opener. Can you imagine having food but not being able to open the can? Uh, a meat grinder, whisk, manual hand mixers, measuring cups and spoons. Number nine would be medical supplies, such as crutches and splints. Number 10, canning supplies, such as a pressure canner, canning jars. And I'll also put in this uh, list with number 10 is a French press. If you're a coffee drinker, that would be a good way that you could get your coffee. Number 11 is hunting gear, such as fishing poles, tackle equipment, bows and arrows, trapping supplies, a canoe, ammunition, anything that you would need to hunt food. Number 12, sewing kits, uh, anything, needles, threads, even a treadle sewing machine. Number uh, 13 would be a bug out bag gear, such as lighters, matches, rain ponchos, knives, and tarps. And I will have a separate video just for a bug out bag. So we'll go more in depth on that. Number 14, uh, and you're gonna get lucky here if you can find this, would be firearms and ammunition. Also think about safety glasses, targets, your ear protection, uh, something to carry all of that in. Number 15, survival related books. So you're going to look for how-to guides, even cookbooks, anything that would um, would be survival related and I also want to encourage you to look for how to do home repair books because if we don't have Google and we don't have YouTube to look at uh, and we're in a situation where we don't have the internet or we don't have electricity those books would surely come in handy. Number 16 is sterling silver flatware and you want to make sure that it's marked with the 925 but uh, that would be good for you simply just to eat with. <clears throat> Number 17 on the list is homeschooling supplies. If you were in a situation where you did have to homeschool or provide schooling for your child or grandchild, you would look for workbooks, classic literature, flashcards, and even school supplies. Number 18, battery operated equipment. Number 19, a food dehydrator and a food saver and storage bowls. 
And number 20 on our list is oil lamps. So that concludes our list and please follow us. Click the bell so you can get notifications and we'll have more videos coming your way. Thanks.